in section 13.1 and it's the U triad on page 354. And this is again looking at uh, the universal quantifier rules for proofs. So it tells us to open the file universal 2. I've done that over here. It says look at the goal to see what sentence we're trying to prove. There it is, right? For all x, for all y. Uh, all tets and cubes, right? every tet is to the left of every cube, right? Okay, then focus on each step in succession and check the step. So here's where we want to go. And you see here, we've done this before. Uh, we can try to predict what steps they're going to fill in to get to that goal. So let's see, before moving to the next step, make sure you understand why the step checks out and more importantly, why are we doing why we are doing what we are doing at that step. At the empty steps, of course, try to predict which sentence Fitch will provide as a default before you check the step. All right, so this is gonna be probably a quicker exercise. So we see here, this is what they've assumed, and they're doing that because they even filled this in for you right here. So here are, here's the instantiation of uh, this, then that, and then we're gonna generalize on that to get the goal. So that's the idea, is assume this, if this, then that, and then we can generalize on that to get if this, then that. Okay, so we've assumed that. We're gonna use A and B as our constants, right? So then we go down here, and they're gonna be using universal quantifier elimination. All right, so what do you think they're gonna have here? So it's gonna be one at a time, right? Here's the first quantifier right here. And you see from these parentheses that the scope of the quantifier is through everything here. All right, so whatever, when they eliminate this universal quantifier and replace the variable here with a constant, this will be replaced with that constant and this will be replaced with that constant too. So let's see what we get when we do that. It's gonna be, if A is a tet, then A is to the left of all cubes. Okay, so there's the first one. That obviously checks out. Now step four, this is gonna be and elimination and they've cited it for us even. So what do you think they will want to do here? My bet is they will want to eliminate this first, A as a tet, because if you have A as a tet, then you get this, and then you can do more work with this right here to get down to that goal. So let's see what they do. That's right. And elimination from this, you get A as a tet, and then I'm betting. The next step is obviously gonna be, if A is a tet, we have that, then we get this, so this. And let's see if that checks out, it does. Right, there it is. And then we want to get rid of this quantifier just like we did up here. We got rid of this big quantifier whose scope is the entire sentence. Let's go down here. And universal quantifier elimination from here. And remember, um, this is gonna be B, this is the second constant that we are using. So let's see what we get when we do that. I'm getting, I'm betting we're gonna do, uh, if B is a cube, then A is to the left of B. Let's see, if B is a cube, then A is to the left of B. Good, all right, so there's that step. Now this one's already filled out for us, right? So um, let's see how they work this. They use tautological consequence. And the way that they can do that is we see, how do we get A is to the left of B? Well, it's the consequent here, and we don't have B as a cube by itself, but we do have it up here. So tautological consequence just allows us to skip an and elimination step, like we did for here, and go right to that. So if we take a look at the glasses tool that they use, right, we have this and that, and we have if this then that, and we do have that, we also have that, that's just kind of extraneous information, so we get that, and that shows you the form, right? So, let's see, this is always gonna be our goal, the last sentence of the proof, so it's gonna be this, we're just introducing the universal quantifier here, right? 
uh, and it gives you the rule there. If Fitch was out, you can see the form there, but that's familiar from the textbook. It's up there. And that should be the goal right there. And that, and that checks out. So you see we have generalized on if this, then that. We get that through universal quantifier introduction. And the goal should obviously check out. There it is. And that's how you do that proof.